Travis Wingenso. All right, uh, more decoding of the Book of Mormon for you today. So get ready for bombshells. Massive bombshells. You guys are missing out. There were two videos that I did that I titled with encoded speech in the titles, and you guys just... You're missing out. There's some major bombshells in those. Alright, anyway, this one is about racism, boys and girls. Uh, the enemy is racist. The enemy of mankind, racist. Not gone over that with you. They're Confederates, they're Nazis, they're white supremacists, KKK, Scottish Rites, Illuminati. Racist. And I told you guys that Brigham Young and Heber C. Kimball came from the Scottish Rites that were infiltrated by the Illuminati. <coughs> and I've informed you guys that the symbols of the inverted pentagram, which the church says, oh, that's just Freemason symbols. Yeah, no duh. It's still satanic. That's why the Scottish Rites Freemasons use them. <coughs> but that's not the bombshell. Those were the bombshells, part of the bombshells in the other ones. This one has to do with their racism. Uh, now, yesterday I was pointing out Kwaku because I was given a death threat by a Mormon woman who was furious that I would dare defend an investigator of the church over a wannabe apologist from BYU. <coughs> and, uh, so that's who Kwaku is. He's a wannabe apologist who had been going to BYU until they shut the school down. Uh, but he was working together with uh, some of his white friends at BYU. Oh, I have a black friend. A token black friend. So I'm not racist, therefore. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, there was one video where you can still see it today, the thumbnail shows what looks to be, uh, it looks to be Michael Jordan, and he's crying. And they're talking about those who are denied exaltation. Now, for those of you who don't know who Michael Jordan is, he's black but he's considered the greatest basketball player ever. Even over Kobe, even though they tried to elevate him with his death from the helicopter crash. Tragic. But, uh, yeah, they used a black man for the thumbnail picture on a video talking about denied exaltation, being denied exaltation. So, yay. Way to go, Kwaku. So yeah, he supports the racist jokes, the racist comments of his white buddies who are just using him to cover for their racism. So that they can go around telling people, I have a black friend, I have friends that are black, I'm not racist. Pathetic. <coughs> anyway, Kwaku does a video also where he apologizes. Now, I'm not saying he says sorry. That's remorse. That's where sorry comes from. Apology is to defend a position with unsound reasoning. You know, like uh, you're a little boy and, and you, you break mommy's uh, flower vase. And she says, why did you break the vase? I didn't do it, Mommy. Well, who did it then? <coughs> well, who did it then? Uh, the baby did it. Now, <coughs> that's an apology. And so it's not saying you're sorry. 
which was supposed to be remorse. Anyway, I, he tries to explain how the church is no longer racist because the ban was lifted in 1978. And I've already done the bombshell that that had to do with quid pro quo with the American government for the American government to lift the restrictions and the punishments of the Edmunds Tucker Act that was likewise released that same year. And guess what they're now doing with the new temple changes with the law of chastity? Uh-huh. And then they'll let time go by with this coronavirus. I still need to do a video on Nelson and what he knew and or what he knows and when he knew it and, and his evil through this whole process. But uh, we're talking about racism now. <clears throat> and so Kwaku just doesn't get it. If the church was at any time racist, it's not Jesus Christ church. Period. Exclamation point. No questions. <laughs> it's not complicated. Again, use your tree as the example. We will liken the word unto a seed. What is the seed? Racism is the seed. Well, it's the fruit, but it comes from a seed. The seed of racism. And when somebody plants it in their heart and lets it grow and fester, a person turns into, transforms into a racist. <clears throat> Fortunately, I've had experiences in my childhood where the parent seeds of racism that were planted in me were immediately destroyed and murdered as I witnessed abuses of my peers. Stan Lowry, I told you that video. <coughs> and there have been others. <coughs> and especially when I found out that I have a an ancestor who was raped as a teenager. By my other ancestor, who was the plantation slave owner. And so, yes, I'm more black than Elizabeth Warren is Indian. But I still can't call myself black. But that's where I get my nice, curly hair. <laughs> it's uh, the Arabic black. Because, yes, we come from Arabs, too. And Indians, the Van Texels, through one of my... Uh, uh, dad's lines uh, came over and were given women as 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 custom among the Indians to new visitors as part of a, the uh, arrangement. And so the father and son both got Indian wives, and I come through them. <clears throat> but that's way back. That's like 1500s back. 15, 1600s. Uh, but yeah, I do have Indian ancestors as well. And uh, Ashkenazi Jew is even. DNA revealed that. But there's a little small trace of Ashkenazi Jew. Alright, anyway. We're straying from racism as I'm declaring myself a mutt. <laughs> And so, uh, Brigham Young is the seed of racism in the church. He twisted everything from the Book of Mormon to justify his racist beliefs and opinions. And like I said, the Book of Mormon's encoded. And we're going to get to that here. That's the bombshell. <coughs> but Brigham Young was blaming everything that he was changing 
on Joseph Smith, saying all oh, this is what Joseph Smith was going to do, he just was murdered. And I'm not going to tell you that I was the one who ordered his murder, placing Willard Richards and John Taylor, who were from my uh, quorum, into the jail to specifically make sure that they're murdered. And Willard Richards shot him in the back, so I rewarded him by being one of my counselors. Heber C. Kimball being my first counselor because he's my bestest buddy who revealed in the Wikipedia page that will be in the future as you know I'm now a prophet <laughs> will reveal that uh, we knew of the whole plot all along and, or we knew of the, the Saving America by Joseph Smith Sr. with Canon Daguia Canandaigua as the United City, but that's where we get to our story. Again, I'm going to repeat this part again so that you can catch on to the coding in the Book of Mormon. Now, if you're just listening to me, you're not going back and studying your Book of Mormon to find out more of the coding in the Book of Mormon as you're supposed to, Mormons. <laughs> and even those who have left the church because of the racism of Brigham Young. <clears throat> and, uh, and so, yes, William Morgan, York Rites. Knights Templar, highest rank in the York Rites. That's important when you recall the scripture in the New Testament by Paul about putting on the whole armor of God. Knights Templar have the whole armor of God. So what about the Scottish Rites? Oh, they have knights in their ranking. <laughs> but that's the coding. And it's in the Book of Mormon here. I'll get to it in a minute. The Scottish Rites were infiltrated by the Illuminati. The Illuminati, founded by Johann Adam Weishaupt on May 1st, 1776, so they just had the anniversary last Friday. <coughs> and, uh, uh, their intention was to destroy Catholic Christianity because they brought about the Dark Ages, and it was science that brought about the Enlightenment period, as they were discovering Greek texts and promoting science. You know, Galileo and Copernicus, and all those guys, uh, many of whom were martyred by the Catholics for their blasphemies of science over Catholicism and the darkness they're in. Now you're already starting to see it, aren't you? I, are, you are, aren't you? Darkness, light, black, white. Starting to see the coding. <gasps> oh yeah, and the Lamanites and the Nephites, black and white. Oh, Indians. Well, uh -huh. yeah, we're getting to it. And so the Illuminati called themselves the Illuminati as the enlightened ones, the illuminated ones, <clears throat> who were using science uh, to pursue knowledge rather than uh, Catholic darkness of stupidity and oppression. You know, sale of indulgences. Oh my God. You know, even Luther uh, decried out against that with his hammering on the doorpost that a date that will live in infamy. <laughs> uh, and, uh, <coughs> and so uh, they wanted to enforce this, the scientific pursuit, with murder. And if you recognize what Trump is doing today, and I wanted to do a separate video on this, <clears throat> they just came out yesterday, 
or the day before, and it was being reported yesterday, that they're now wanting to claim that coronavirus escaped from a lab. Science causing destruction. Huh. Where did we hear that? Oh yeah, I just said it. <laughs> the Illuminati's intention was to use science to destroy the world. <clears throat> so that they can take over and uh, control the survivors. Rise from the ashes. As the phoenix rises from the ashes. The phoenix is a flaming, fiery bird. And yet they use eagles instead of the phoenix as their symbol. Uh, the one eagle for the Illuminati, two eagles for the Scottish Rites. Why two eagles? Because they were infiltrated by the Illuminati, thus two eagles. Russia then takes over the Scottish Rites <laughs> seal in uh, the early 1900s and uh, use the May 1st date as their their uh, celebration victory Labor Day which was supposed to be celebrated on the Friday uh, but the coronavirus got a little out of control of Putin and so he's uh, uh, said that he's going to wait until 11th of May uh, for uh, seeing if things can be opened up again and so that was one of the things I was telling you about in yesterday's video where I was saying, hey, I hadn't found out about Putin because they're focusing too much on coronavirus. So I decided, I wonder what Putin's up to lately and did the research, found out what he's been up to. <coughs> Not good. But anyway, um, racism. <laughs> and so the... Illuminati are racist. They are fully embracing slavery because that's what they want to do. They want to destroy with science. Just like coronavirus started with science. Now, I, that's what I need to do a whole separate video for is explaining how Trump knows what he knows and how he has the vaccine. Because if the American people found out that Trump has the vaccine because the two people that watch my videos you guys aren't powerful enough or influential enough to get the word out to everybody and so <laughs> nobody knows what I already have figured out <clears throat> Trump has the vaccine Pence has the vaccine that's why he went to the Mayo Clinic unprepared and unprotected and that's why Rus uh, Putin Likewise, pulled the same stunt in Russia. Got the doctor sick. Huh. <clears throat> anyway. And so, uh, the uh, Illuminati uh, are the cause of destruction and slavery and racism. They embraced it. Uh, and not just for blacks, but for mankind. They believed that they had higher knowledge using science, and that they were the ones who were enlightened and therefore had the right to rule over mankind who were in darkness. And so for them, it was light versus dark, rather than white versus black. But uh, white versus black was a great symbol, symbol uh, to present their message. <clears throat> As they had to uh, go underground over and over again into various different groups. As I've been telling you, Scottish Rite, and Confederates, KKK, Nazis, GOP. Uh, Democrats too, even. Uh, because I'm recognizing some segregationist tendencies 
in our modern day progressive Democrats. <gasps> what? <laughs> yes. What is segregation? Where you segregate. You don't unite. So what is the Democrat plan? To have segregated communities made equal. <laughs> and they focus on, oh, you guys will be equal. You know, you'll, you'll know, be able to have the jobs and get the pay and you'll be treated with justice just as long as we segregate you into your different groups. The gays and lesbians and their separate communities, Jews and their separate communities, Muslims and their separate communities, Buddhists and their separate communities, Christians who are evil and we don't want anything to do with them, but they will have their own separate community too. <laughs> Segregation, guys. Look at the fruit and what the seed is. And so yes, the Illuminati has infiltrated the Democrats too. And so yes, Bill Clinton was on the, the, the jailbait pleasure plane with other Republicans. <clears throat> you don't know when a, the guy that got arrested and then murdered himself in, in jail? I'm sure he murdered himself because uh, he was going to be a dead man anyway. Because uh, they were going to release other names. <laughs> So the ones that did get released, like Trump and Clinton, were, were just the known people. There were other rich people also involved. And I was doing videos saying, I wonder if any church leaders are involved in this. As uh, Christofferson was the one that went to the prayer breakfast where Maria Butina, the Russian spy, uh, was uh, meeting with uh, world leaders and world religious leaders to uh, make deals with Russia and the church just happened to make a deal with Russia soon thereafter huh. Temple in Russia I wonder how that could have come about oh yeah Christofferson and the prayer breakfast where the Russians attended by Mar Maria, Maria Butina who's now a Russian hero, by the way, or heroine, as the female version is. And again, may I remind you, Russia has the seal of the Scottish Rites, of the two eagles, of the infiltrated one eagle of the Illuminati. <coughs> and so William Morgan is warning Joseph Smith Sr.'s lodge in Canandaigua, New York. That was his lodge. And so Hiram was not at those meetings because he was in the Palmyra Lodge as a member. He was going to those meetings. Joseph Smith uh, could have gone with his dad on occasion to his meetings, but Joseph Jr. could never become a member of the same lodge that another family member was a part of already. So only one. That's why Brigham Young also was not a member of the Scottish Rites like his older brothers. Because there were only enough lodges in the area for his older brothers to attend, not Brigham Young. So Brigham Young could not become a, a, uh, a member of the Scottish Rites Lodge. Uh, Heber C. Kimball did become a, master, or a member. He claims he became a Master Mason. He doesn't say Master Mason, he says the three ranks <laughs> in his local lodge in one year. It took Joseph Sr. 18 years to rise up to become a Master Mason. And yet Hebrew C. Kimball is saying, oh yeah, I did it in a year. <laughs> like I said, he was lying in that Wikipedia insert that his family allowed to be released. Release the book. Anyway. So that's the foundation. 
And so William Morgan was warning Joseph Smith Sr. about the Scottish Rites being infiltrated by the Illuminati. And then uh, the Illuminati had found out, had him arrested in the Canandaigua jail. That's the connection, is that's the jail where William Morgan was arrested. And then when you do your research on William Morgan, they mention nothing of Joseph Smith Sr. But yet when you go to the with Joseph Smith Sr.'s research, oh yeah, he was a, a master mason of the lodge there. And then you read about Heber C. Kimball, and he says he went to the Canandaigua, Lo Canandaigua, yeah, Canandaigua Lodge to ask for a skipping of ranks to number seven. Who was the master mason there? Oh, they don't say? Who was the Freemason master that William Morgan spoke to? They don't say? What's going on? Why is history missing information that is valuable to an understanding of the bigger picture? So yeah, everybody's purposely leaving out information. And it's because Joseph Smith Sr. wanted it that way. Smith Sr. was the one who helped William Morgan escape to save his life. And Joseph Smith Sr. was the one who said, I will take over the, the publication of your books. Books. Two books. One book was about the white Indians. Oh. Not black Indians, but white Indians of the Mandan tribe who had been visited by the Knights Templar in 1363 to buy the land east of the Dakotas so that they could have the New Jerusalem one day where X marks the spot of the two solar eclipses in southern Illinois, now called Little Egypt, where buried treasure plates were buried by the Knights Templar? Huh. Buried treasure plates. I wonder where we've heard that before. Oh yeah, the Book of Mormon. <laughs> exactly. And those who have been doing research on the church to try to find out the, the mystical, magical witchcraft of looking at rocks in a hat missed everything. You guys got distracted just as Martin Harris got distracted. And that was Joseph Smith Sr.'s plan, was to use Joseph Jr. to distract Martin Harris with rocks in the hat trick. And it was just a kid's thing that he taught him. And Joseph was good at it, or at least good at fooling people with it. You know, he got popular. steal stuff of his friends and family and, and they would go oh I wonder where it is and then Joseph would do his hat trick oh it's over there underneath that oh wow that's cool I'll do it again okay <laughs> you know just a little kids game <clears throat> and so uh, when Joseph Smith worked for uh, Martin Harris on his farm Martin Harris knew all about the hat trick and so Martin Harris was the one they knew had money because they couldn't go to the Batavian press again to say, hey, can you fund us the money? Because then people would know. People were, the Scottish rights were on the lookout for who caused this. Who snuck William Morgan out of the country? Who saved his life? And who's responsible? <coughs> That's why Heber C. Kimball's Wikipedia page under Masonry reveals he found out because William Morgan was seventh rank in the York Rites. And it was Joseph Smith who advanced three levels in three days, or two days. Uh, with the Grand Master in 1842. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, the, the Book of Mormon. Uh, and so, 
uh, as Heber C. Kimball and Brigham Young, who were of the Scottish Rites that had been infiltrated by the Illuminati to destroy America with science. What do you think the atomic bomb was? Science to destroy. Coronavirus, science to destroy. It didn't escape from the lab, and that's what I wanted to talk about, and I'll just summarize it here so you'll have to understand that there's more to this than just my saying so. Remember the soldiers, American soldiers that were going to China? Remember how we were paying to do research to identify potential strains of viruses from China to do research? Remember that South Korean fundamentalist group that named themselves after the Book of Revelation that has the four horsemen of the apocalypse? Huh. Do you remember how they were there in China at the ground zero? What were they doing in China? What were they doing at ground zero with the virus? And then what were they doing traveling from China all over the world, spreading the virus. Nobody talks about that anymore. And so last night, Chris Hayes and then Rachel Maddow uh, brought it back up again. We're discussing this escaped excuse. Remember Ukraine and that perfect phone call of Trump? Remember how they altered their story over time, which was the exact same pattern for everything? They deny having been exposed, and then they come out and say, well, we're blaming somebody else, and then they say, well, yeah, everybody does it. Get over it. You notice that pattern of changing of the story? Guess what they're doing now? with coronavirus, they're changing the story over time again in the exact same pattern. And that's what I wanted to talk about, but yeah, we cause coronavirus with the assistance of China and the know-how or then the knowledge of Kim Jong-un. Remember his whole white horse trip up the mountaintops? And then his Christmas gift what was that Christmas gift to America? Oh yeah, he did say that, didn't he? Exactly. And then Putin, who's been behind the scenes of everything that's going on. Huh. Exactly, the four horsemen. Anyway, but I already dropped that bombshell a long time ago. <coughs> and so, you have uh, Brigham Young and Heber C. Kimball infiltrating Joseph's organization. They figured it out. It was them. And so just like the Illuminati's plan for everything, they infiltrated, they rose up in popularity and acceptance, rose up to take over leadership positions in the church in 1838, which I've called the leadership crisis. Nobody else says anything about that. They don't focus on that. That was the leadership crisis. That was when they took over the leadership positions. And then they eventually murdered Joseph Smith and Hiram, taking over the whole organization, fleeing the country to settle in the Mexican territory, Mexico territory, in what's now Utah. The group of uh, infiltrated Mormons called themselves the Danites. Danite is Hebrew for judges. And Illuminati, light, judgment. They were the light to judge. 
And what were they judging? Those who had destroyed their temples in the anti-Mason movement, the Smiths. Here comes the bombshell from the book of Moroni, chapter 7, verse 18. We've been talking about the light of Christ. And now, my brethren, seeing that ye now know the light by which ye may judge. <sighs> See how they're twisting this? <clears throat> they're York Rites. Knights Templar. Armor of God. Nephites. Not Lamanites. Because remember, Laman was the birthright blessing son, claimed authority, but he was wicked. He wanted to murder. Nephi became the default leader. They still became leaders in their own right. Laman still became the leader, but he insisted on going after the Nephites. He couldn't just let them go. He had to keep pursuing them, hunting them down to murder them. Seeing that ye know the light by which ye may judge, which light is the light of Christ. Knights Templar have the Holy Grail, which is the blood, the royal blood, for the man like Moses, the Christ, the anointed, the king. Moses, a man. See that ye do not judge wrongfully. How would you judge wrongfully? Oh yeah, use it to murder. Use science to murder. For with that same judgment which ye judge, ye shall also be judged. As those who create scientific weapons of destruction die from it themselves. Nuclear fallout, for example. Huh. So the scientists working on it get exposed to it themselves. And those who are uh, supposedly innocent of the... <clears throat> yeah, well, Trump telling his followers to drink bleach. Democrats aren't listening to Trump. Trumpites are listening to Trump. Oh, drink bleach, that'll cure it? Yeah. Trump caused the virus, which is killing his people too. And now that his, uh, not enough of his people are dying, he's now telling them to drink bleach. And he's still wanting them to get infected because they stayed at home. So he's saying, hey, go back to work. Open up the beaches. Open up the malls. Open up the stores. Go back and get infected again. You didn't get infected the first time. Go back, get yourself infected. Spread it around. Get other people infected. Kill off the elderly. Kill off the sick and the afflicted already who have pre-existing conditions. Those blacks have pre-existing conditions because we've been denying them health care. We've been denying them money as we've enslaved them in their places of employment. <clears throat> American Indians as well, they're also suffering from this. And Jews. Huh. They're going on a massive genocidal mission. And I only have two listeners. <laughs> so, alright. That's it. They knew. They were warning us. They were telling us that we're supposed to use science for good. To prolong life. To give life. To uh, prosper people not poison our food, not poison our land, not poison our water, not poison our air. So, 
That's the difference. And that's why Brigham Young purposely altered the coding of the Book of Mormon so that he can justify his racist policies. Nobody's listening at this point, are you? It's 40 minutes. YouTube says you give up after two.